are here in Sierra Leone at the birth and death departments as we are helping to preserve the records that they are keeping. The record books, as you are seeing, they are just like a paper, they are all destroyed because of the frequent handling. The records are not in under air condition. There is every possibility for someone information to get missing or get destroyed over the year. And so as a result of that, we have been making frantic efforts to ensure that these informations are recorded in the digital fashion. When I saw these records for the first time, it was devastating. You know, I, I had my heart broken. If we do not do this now, in 10 years time, we'll not probably find all of this information available. If these records are lost, the memory of our ancestors will be lost forever. I will start by thanking God for giving us the idea and the knowledge to approach family search. The chief of the state house of the government of Sierra Leone sent an official correspondence to the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, President Thomas S. Monson, asking if the church organization in charge of record preservation can come in the country to help the country to preserve all the sensitive records that they are keeping. So this is how we're doing it. We're helping to preserve the records by providing the necessary tools and the technology and the experience. We have more than four million records that we have to preserve, between 40 to 50,000 images per week and then the project will last for at least three years. And then after this process of indexing, the records will be available online. So people, individual and families may have access to this information. Here we are in Tombo, in the Western Rural District in Sierra Leone. Behind me, you may notice the health center. You see mothers registering their new babies. And this is one of the birth and death registration office that we have in the country, where some of the records are coming from for digitalization and preservation purpose. As well as preserving the government's records, we also help to preserve the Catholic Church records in the Archdiocese of Freetown. If anyone allows these records to fall apart, to, go, to dissipate, it would be a colossal, dastardly negative effect on the history and the integrity of our nation. The work that Family Search is doing is phenomenal. Any kind of record at all is crucially important because it becomes a, a database for future generations. I'm here with my family, uncles, mother, cousins, younger brothers and sisters. Uh, this village is called Mokwebundo village and all this while we've been keeping records through word of mouth, from father to son and down the generations. But most times critical records get missing when people die. It's very important to keep the history of this family because I personally would like our children and their own children to know my own father, my mother, my grandfather. Working with Family Search will enable us to keep these records because now they are not only going to be on paper or word of mouth, they are going to be electronic. That's anywhere in the country or in the world with a click of uh, the button of a mouse, we'll get them. To have a project where we're trying to make sure we capture and retain the records that do exist uh, is a remarkable undertaking and it's very necessary. All over the earth we make available our records and they strengthen communities because they have that sense of place, a sense of person, a place of history. <laughs> Oh, yeah.